Hello everyone. Today we will see how to install the PTC Creo and how to configure the license for the setup. So for now I have the PTC Creo 11 setup. This is the setup folder which we get from the PTC itself. While downloading you will get this setup files. So from here you can go setup files we need to proceed. Before proceeding the setup we need to configure the license file. So in the start menu search bar you can type env go to environment variable where I have uh, created now a new set in env. So from the environment variable, this is the environment variable. The naming of the environment variable is ptcd license file and the path of that license file. The license file uh, format should be in .dat format. So you can create the set env as shown here. So after creating the set env, you can proceed with the installation. So this is the setup file uh, running is admin. Wait just for the warning. So this is the setup wizard initially which we need to go with. So check install new software. See here it is Clio 11, 11. Install new software. Hit next. After next you need to accept the license agreement and the terms and condition. After checking these two box hit next. You can see the license file which we have pointed out using the set in env which is which get available here. So the path it shows dot dat file and the status is available. The license is available. So after hitting next you can see here what are the platforms available to install. It is secure parametric and distribution service manager. You need to hit next. So here is the module extension of level extension options you can select whatever you required so here I am going with the default checking some extra for me and a specific language you can install it from here selecting here so even though you can uh, see your licenses here this is a pure, pure parameter default if you can edit this one so you can see the license file name here After checking, hit install. So you can see the process is here, which is going to get 100%. Uh, so wait for a while till the process get completed. All the processes are faster except Creo Parametric, the main installation. It will take some time, so hold on. It will show some warning, but you need to ignore this live warning and click on finish. The setup installation is completed now. Finish it. Now the Creo got installed. Now our installation part is completed. So we will going to check now whether it is getting installed or not. So here we, you can verify on the desktop itself. So Creo shortcut is already available. So now your Creo is installed. So double click on this file shortcut file and hold on so see it is starting now so creo is successfully installed and it started without error 
so you can see file help and about Creo primitive see here it is a Creo 11 which is installed now so you can uh, reconfigure it for the floating license from the file options and floating license section which is available here so you can add floating licenses from here which are uh, several available from here so you can check those specific one which you whichever you required and hit ok and this is the part for the installation I hope you enjoyed you can start using the Creo 11 further now yeah thank you guys thank you for watching